Hello, my name is Gilad. I'm a product manager in Elastic, the company that develops Elasticsearch. And in this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a runtime field. We'll create a runtime field that contains the day of the week and we'll calculate the day of the week uh, using the date, which is in another index field. Runtime fields are our implementation of uh, schema on read. That means we calculate the value of the field per document at the time a query requires it. This method allows you to add flexibly add fields even after do the documents have been ingested. Let's get started. I'll start by uh, entering uh, mappings to my new index. So I'm doing a put command in my the dev tools in Kibana for a date to day. That's the name of the I chose for my index. And in the mapping section, in the properties, I'm defining two fields, a timestamp field of type data type date and a response code field with the data type integer. Both fields will be indexed. Let's just run this to create the mapping. And now we can have a look at the mapping. I'm showing this so we can compare it to what we will have after we add the runtime field. So you see the two fields here, timestamp and response code. And now we can load a few documents so we have something to work with. All those documents have the response code with an integer and the timestamp with the date. So bulk load and that's it. Now I'll start by creating a runtime field in an ephemeral way. So this runtime field will exist only within my query. It, it's not added to the mapping. And it's useful to experiment. And it's also useful when you have fields that you don't want everyone to be using that are just relevant for one particular query. So I'm running a get to my day-to-day -day index and I'm calling the underscore search API. But instead of starting starting with a query, I'm starting with a runtime map runtime mappings section, which is where you define the ephemeral runtime fields. The field I'm defining is called day of week, and for that field, for this runtime field, I'm defining the data type, which in this case will be a keyword, and I'm defining a script. The script indicates how the value of the field should be calculated. The script is written in the painless scripting language. The syntax is similar to Java and it exposes uh, Java libraries. We use painless because it's both fast and secure. In the source, I'm starting with uh, three double quotes. Whatever value I want to eventually put in the field, I have to emit. So I'm putting the, the value inside emits and brackets take some more space so we can see it in one line and in there I'm starting my calculation from the value of the timestamp field which is where I have the date and this is the syntax for getting the, the value of the timestamp uh, field so I put stamp, timestamp in single quotes in square brackets I put doc before that and I'm asking for the dot value because I want the value and not some other attribute of that, like length or something like that. On that, I'm running the Java method day of week enum. This method will provide me the, an integer that uh, signifies the day of the week. Uh, that's a very good start because it's calculated from the day. But what I really want is the three letter representation of the day so I can use it directly in a visualization. So on that, I'm running the get display name. So I do dot get display name. And I have to provide two parameters. One, the, the type of string I want. In this case, short, which is the three letters. I can use the, the full to get the, the full day name of the day and the locale. So this section here is where I defined the field. From here on, I'm just using this field in a normal query. There's no uh, significance from here on to the fact that I created it in that in this query, in this call. So I, I don't want the individual documents, so I put size zero. And um, in this case, I'm doing an, a terms aggregation on the day of week to count how many documents per every day of week. Let's run this and have a look at the result. 
So as you can see, I've got a number of documents per day of week with the three letters representation like I wanted. However, what happens if there are many queries that want to use this newly created runtime fields and maybe some visualizations, etc. And I don't want each of them to have to define this repeatedly. In fact, maybe I as an administrator want to define it and have other users use it without even knowing that it's a runtime field and not an index field. Well, to do that, I simply have to place this field in the mapping. So I can copy this section here, just the, the definition of the field, and do a call to the uh, map, uh, underscore mapping API for the day-to-day -day index. So I use put here. And here I'm defining a runtime section. And in that runtime section, I simply paste the same definition of the field that I had before with a, a variable type and a, uh, script that defines how to calculate it. And let's run this. And now if we ask again for the mapping, we'll see something slightly different than before. So we had the two index field we had before, the response code and the timestamp. We also have a runtime section in the mapping in which the day of week is uh, defined as a runtime field with all the information that goes with it. So now before I had this field, as a, an ephemeral field that exists just in the query and I've now requested to add it to the mapping. Now we can head on and use it in Kibana. To do that, we first need to uh, create an index pattern. So I'm going to the uh, stack management section and to uh, the index patterns. I create a new index pattern. I call this day two. Uh, uh, date to uh, day, but anything that will capture my the name of my index is sufficient here. I'll choose the timestamp for the daytime and create this index pattern. In this index pattern, I see the index fields like response code and timestamp, but I also see the day of week, which is the uh, runtime field that we just created. I can now head to uh, the to visualize and create a new visualization. I'll choose lens in this case. Note that the dates you pick here are uh, uh, correlate with the dates you have in the index. Uh, we can uh, choose the day to date index pattern that we just created, and there we have the three fields: the two index fields and the one runtime field. As a user that's creating a visualization, I don't need to be aware of this. I can simply drag the day of week here and I've got a visualization using this field and I can take the response code and uh, break it down by response code. And as a user, I don't need to be aware that response code is indexed and day of week is uh, calculated. Uh, and that's the beauty of it. And as a side note, the engine makes sure to do as much as possible of the heavy lifting of the query that results from this visualization using the index fields. So the impact on uh, query performance is uh, mitigated uh, because we end up calculating runtime fields for as few documents as possible. You can create a trial environment in our cloud and experiment with this new capability. Thank you very much.